Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Wanderlust Wednesdays. This is the weekly webinar series in which we take you on fantastic voyages around the world. So I hope you're ready. Sit tight, buckle up, and just relax, actually. Today, you don't really have to buckle up. Today's kind of chill. So relax today. Get your favorite beverages um, ready because today we are going to the beautiful the wonderful, the gorgeous island of St. Lucia in the Caribbean. Um, so it's an amazing place. Um, I personally have never been there, so I'm excited about this webinar. I spoke to the speaker. I've been speaking to him over the past couple of weeks, and I've learned a lot. And um, hopefully you will learn a lot as well. So before we get started, I just want to go over some quick housekeeping um, notes here. Uh, this is a webinar format, um, which is slightly different than a meeting format. So with the webinar, you can see me or you can see whoever is speaking. You can see our screens, but we cannot see nor can we hear you. Um, the only way that you can communicate with us is through your Q&A button. So if you have a question, I ask that you please put it in the Q&A button. It should be a little box at the bottom of your screen. Um, you also have a chat but button as well. And the chat, is that's where you will communicate with each other um, in, in the group. And I know several of you are regulars here, and um, you join the calls every week. So you see your friends, you say hi, you just want to make a, a comment. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. Can't wait to go. You can put that all in chat. But I ask that you put all your questions um, in the Q&A box. Also, there's something called raise your hand. Please don't use that um, because we you, you can't speak. So if you raise your hand, we'll still ask you to put your question um, and the Q and A box. So before we get started, I just have a quick question to ask. I'm going to take a poll for you guys. And I want to find out for those of you who are on the line, tell me who has previously been to St. Lucia. So try trying to see what the audience is here. Oh, it looks like, okay. All right, I'll give you a couple more sec seconds. Okay, all right. So we have 63% of you have not been to St. Lucia and 38% of you have been. So most of you haven't, so you're gonna learn a lot. And for those of you who have been, it's going to be a trip down memory lane for you. Okay, so um, without further ado, what I'm going to do is introduce our speaker for the day. Our speaker for the day is Mr. Richard Moss. He is coming to us from lovely St. Lucia and uh, will tell us everything we need to know for now. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I am going to... Uh, let Richard take it over um, from here. Okay, it's all yours, Richard. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Welcome, ladies. Are there gentlemen as well? It's okay. Um, good afternoon and thank you. Welcome to Overtime Academy, <laughs> where we're escaping <laughs> to St. Lucia today. All right, thank you very much for having me, Laurie, and hello to Donna. Hello, we're going to have a great time. We don't do boring in St. Lucia. So let's go. Let's take that ride to gorgeous, and I can't do it any better than Laurie did. If the islands of the Caribbean were in a beauty pageant, well, let's just, let's just tell you right now, St. Lucia would win, right? And I'm going to show you exactly why it's perfect. But first, the etymology of St. Lucia. St. Lucia is the only country named for a woman. And so our tagline is, let her inspire you. And Lori will be sharing with you a fabulous video that you can just luxuriate in. And we'll probably share with that with you later on. And certainly, let me tell you, St. Lucia offers so much for you. I, I, I can't wait to share it. St. Lucia, truly very inspiring. And if we didn't know before, 
that certain pandemic that's going on has taught us that you live only once. So you really ought to make the very, very best of life. And that's why we want to have you escape. Now, St. Lucia has managed its COVID-19 situation fairly decently, if I may say so. We've had 19 cases, 18 have fully recovered, and there is one who is a returning national of St. Lucia who was working with a cruise line who is still in care at the moment because she came home about two weeks ago and she's responding very well to treatment. So our record has been pretty good and we would like to keep it that way. And certainly I want to um, just be very respectful that there are people who have suffered losses. Um, but just to share with you the status that we've put in place all the protocols that have been presented by the World Health Organization, the CDC, and certainly our local Ministry of Health as well to ensure that visitors and locals are protected as we move forward, all right? Let me take a poll. How many people have had a chocolate-infused massage? Hello? This has to be on the top of your list. St. Lucia is a chocolate island. We grow some of the best cocoa in the world. We even have a chocolate hotel, right? And I'm gonna show it to you later on. But if food is not your thing, and I sort of think that it is, and many of you are in that tri-state area, so I know dining is a huge thing for you. It, look at that, it's a full gamut from nature lovers to party lovers to those that worship the spa. Um, we have it all available for you. Let's get into it. When you go for a job, you present your resume. Well, let me present her resume. She's an award-winning destination. And if you know the hotel in Las Vegas, the Bellagio, the Bellagio has 5,000 rooms so does St. Lucia. So we're a boutique destination. We have a lot of small resorts, you know, people like to say size matters. Well, let's just say in the new world, people are very concerned about their environment. So look at that resort just on your screen. That's Tikai. Tikai is the Creole word for little house. And there are 33 here we go, of those little houses on the um, cliffside. And it's a fabulous location if you'd like to do offshore diving. There's a fabulous beach to the left of the screen. And certainly it's perfect if you want to lose the crowd. And that's, that's sometimes the mission, especially if we're traveling for like a girl's trip or, or maybe it's a solo trip. You never ever know. You're writing your memoirs, right? I know a lot of us have started that. But when you talk about world-class gourmet dining and the attention to details, that's what St. Lucia affords you. Her beauty, legendary. Our tagline used to be simply beautiful. And that's because you can't, you just cannot um, deny that St. Lucia is absolutely gorgeous. She's known as the Hawaii of the Caribbean. But obviously, if you're flying in from New York, four hours. You could have your breakfast in New York, JFK, or wherever you're having it. And you could be at your resort by 1 p.m. because you have JetBlue with nonstop service going down to St. Lucia. And certainly with the JetBlue Mint service, if you're familiar with that, that's the flatbeds in, in first, then certainly you would probably want to be looking at that because it's nice to be, it's certainly more than ever, nice to be in the front of that aircraft. But you know what? Every trip is different, so let's play it by air. You have options, that's the point. Um, these are the pitons, and these are our iconic um, volcanic plugs. And right in between the pitons, because they're not joined, they're three miles between, you have Sugar Beach, which is a fabulous resort. We'll take you there shortly. Just remember I said it's right between, okay? Ah, so lots of waterfalls, mineral springs. If you like birding, we have five endemic species, including a very, very colorful parrot and 19,000 acres of rainforest. So if you're a nature lover, 
this is a place you are going to love. If you want to remove 10 years, not like any of you need it. You can look and feel 10 years younger by going to our sulfuric mud bath in Soufre. A really good experience, but also a lot of fun. You know how it is. We, we like to capture everything these days. A really, really good memory is going to that mud bath gorgeous beaches. This is the Hummingbird Beach and we have quite a number of beaches for you to explore if that's your thing in St. Lucia. World-class marinas because you certainly could um, do a charter on a yacht whether it is that you're sailing or you're getting a crew to do it for you and you could hop to a couple of nearby islands if you want it. So it's all up to you. There are lots of options and Laurie and the team will guide you. But when you talk about exotic places to stay, exquisite in nature, I mean, this is one of those I'm going to take you to very, very shortly. Everybody could do with a sanctuary. But talking about culture, St. Lucia is such a colorful destination in terms of all the people who have lived in St. Lucia. So the British, the French, their African influences, obviously, and certainly the East Indians also brought their flavors as well. And so when you want to talk about cuisine, one moment, please. Um, when you want to talk about cuisine, we certainly have some fabulous fare for you to try. So from fabulous street food to five-star dining, you will find some really excellent options in St. Lucia. And if any of you are going to Louisiana, then certainly you want to stop in at Coper La Pain. Listen, it's French. It's very difficult to pronounce. Um, this is the restaurant of Chef Nina Compton, who was one of your favorites if you're, if you're a fan of the Food Network on Top Chef. And she is obviously St. Lucian born and a very, very important lady in her own right. Not just the fact that her father was also a um, founding father of the nation, um, helping us to secure our independence from the UK at the time. But look at that, bakes and sawfish. There's some fabulous bouillon. So again, it's that creolization that happens when you have the mixing of the various cultural elements. But let me tell you, lobster, seafood, fabulous. And we'll share some more about that moving forward. Another very important man who happens to be St. Lucian, Sir Derek Walcott. And he says, I dream, I travel, I become. And that's really something that I know it resonates with each of us because we're at that stage of our lives where we really are continuing to look for the, the meaning in life. And certainly travel is one of those things that inspires, that gives us the energy we need to move forward into the other stages. Many of you know this poem. You've seen Oprah Winfrey do it justice. Love after love. The time will come when with elation, you will greet yourself. You can close your eyes if you can't read it. You will greet yourself arriving at your own door, in your own mirror, and each will, will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was once yourself. Give wine, give bread, give back your heart to itself, to the stranger who has loved you all your life, whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes, Peel your image from the mirror. Sit, feast on your life. Fabulous poem, and it certainly speaks to that introspection that is so important. But let me tell you, the honor of a Sir Derek Walcott, born in St. Lucia, is a very well respected. He's now deceased, but certainly he is one of our two 
Nobel laureates. And he won the prize in 1992 for literature. And then certainly um, the very first African-American to win a Nobel Prize in economics is Sir Arthur Lewis, also born in St. Lucia. So when you come to St. Lucia, one of the places I want to share with you is a walk around the capital of Castries. You can go to the Derek Walcott Square and right next to it is this fabulous cathedral which is really good and you'll notice the murals the murals I know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have a fabulous time in Castries and certainly going over to the fruit market which is nearby as well so all of this is walking distance and what I like about St. Lucia is with Lori you can actually create a customized itinerary you can say what it is you're interested in so maybe your group we like chocolate we like this we want to go make our own chocolate right from scratch so that could be on the itinerary. A walk through Castries could be on the itinerary. And there too, you'll find the busts of these two um, Nobel laureates in the Derek Walcott Square. And that would be a really good um, spot for you to go to. Um, and our people are truly very welcoming. We are a melting pot in every sense of the word. And certainly there are some great events that happen week in, week out, such as our fish fries in Anse or in Denry, the Seafood Festival. So depending on where you're staying in the island, there's always something happening. But don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and check those out. This is a term that you will learn in St. Lucia. It's how you say in Creole, what's up? Saka fet. Very, very easy. Everybody repeat after me. Saka fet. And then wherever you are in the world and you hear somebody say, a -e, can you say that? A -e, then you know that's a St. Lucian. And that's a way of, it's like a response of surprise, of disgust, of whatever they they just use different inflections so it's like eh, eh, that's what she's wearing <laughs> or eh, eh, this tastes so good you know anyway that's a little bit of creole for you so when you leave saint lucia you're leaving with way more than just a t-shirt or or a souvenir there is just so much heritage and not the least of which is the world's longest street party, which happens every single Friday night in Groselay. We call it the, the street party or the jump up every Friday night. So that is going to be on your itinerary if I have anything to do with it. And Laurie definitely loves it as well. So some great places to stay and for multi-generational families, I mean, you really want to find that configuration that works very well for you and yours. Or if you're traveling together as, as a group of girlfriends, then this is a great spot because of its location. I'll give you some more on that later. But when you really want to turn up, let's say it's one of those um, milestone birthdays. Like Lori, I think you have a special one coming up. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, why not come to Carnival in July? That's a heck of a celebration. And we could certainly You're tempting do... me. <laughs> As we, that's why I'll we're here. Back. That's why we're here. We're here to tempt you and inspire you. So in July, mid-July, and by the way, it starts from June where we have lots of parties, but the culmination is going to be in mid-July. And by the way, hello, there are lots of different um, types of costumes. They don't all look like this, okay? And I don't mean any shade by that. I'm just letting you know there are always options. We'll find them for you. And listen, getting here is fairly easy. So from the tri-state area, again, JetBlue from New York, uh, American from Charlotte. You do have um, JetBlue from Boston as well. And um, we'll show you the details on those. Um, and by the way, 
Given the passage of COVID-19, we will await the final schedules of the airlines. As you know, they are coming back on stream. So we will certainly, um, Laurie and the team will keep you up to date with your flight options. But there are good options no matter who you like to fly with. Okay, here is our island. It's shaped like a nice little mango, which is, um, it's now mango season, fragrant tropical mangoes. And you would typically arrive into the Huonora International Airport. And why does the road in yellow go all the way around as opposed to just going straight across? It's because all of this is the 19,000 acres of rainforest, which I spoke about earlier. So we're all about conserving the environment and ensuring that it is available for you when you come, but preserving it for future generations, all right? We have not been in the tourism business um, for as long as a number of other destinations. And we've seen that it's very important that we preserve what we have, okay? So here we are, 27 miles long by 14 miles wide, not a large island, but very mountainous. So it does take you approximately 90 minutes to get to the north if you're driving, but don't worry, we can make it really special for you. Hello? That fabulous 50 celebration or 60, it doesn't matter. We are here to live our lives and every trip can't be the same, okay? Let's do something iconic. Let's have a chauffeured service or maybe, hello, we have some options for you, right? You, the G-Wagon is your style, we could do that. Or best of all, girls trip, we can certainly do something extremely exciting. So by the way, there are two airports, but this one in the north is typically if you're if you're coming in from another island. All right. So if you're doing an island hopping kind of thing, then you would come in through this one if your hotel is in the north. But there are hotels that are located close to the airport, five minutes from there. You also could go to Soufrere, which is if you're more into adventures and the rainforest, this would be a great option, 45 minutes from the airport. Um, and hello, don't bother with the diet if you're coming to St. Lucia. Hello, because Creole bread is our first stop. And this fabric, you're going to see it quite a bit. It's not random. It is our national fabric. So you'll see it in decor. It is, it is helping you to be rooted in a St. Lucian experience. You won't come to St. Lucia and think that you're in Las Vegas. You will always know where you are. And that's the strength of the destination. But look at this. Lori, this is how you'll arrive. You could do that 90 minute ride or you could do a 10 minute helicopter hop with your girls. Very, very exciting and also a great way to get an introduction to the island. So really fabulous. And you could do that just one way or you could do it both ways. It's up to you. And we do have two resorts that have their own helipad. So that could be a five minute flight. So Remember, you have one life, you should always live it. Never ever, it is about just money. It's about, life is about experiences and that's what travel should be. Now, don't look at me sideways, but some of us have found love and some of us will find love again. And if you're planning to get married in St. Lucia, it is easy, easy. There is no residency required. Um, and as you can see, it's a very nominal fee. We are the world's leading honeymoon destination, by the way. So there are some great options. Let me just run you through some of those options. I mean, look at this. Can you imagine piloting your own boat with a friend or a special friend? <laughs> I'm going to behave, Laurie, I promise. There are many different locations, by the way. You can do something very traditional. We saw the cathedral earlier. You certainly could do it on the beach if you'd like. This is Sugar Beach. And you certainly can have it the way you'd like because we do have some excellent wedding planners. And we have all the bells and whistles, the DJs, the flowers, the florists, I should say, um, etc. Look at that. 
if you got married on the celestial terrace at Jade Mountain, I mean, that is a heck of a statement. And destination weddings are very, very popular because guess what? You could choose to have a wedding at home, but that would be an event that would be, let's say, three or four hours with your family and friends, or you could do three or four nights with family and friends and make it very, very memorable. Folks, did I tell you we have one life? Let's make the most of it. The cathedral is available in Castries, or maybe you want a chapel over the water, like at Sandals Grand St. Lucian. Really great options all around. And we can certainly customize it for you. There are lots of great musicians on island, including these two, Barbara Cadet, famous saxophonist, and how many of you recognize this face? Let me tell you, let me see if anybody knows. I'm going to peek in that chat room there. So, so much going on in there. Okay. <laughs> this is Gregory Porter, velvety voice, who came last year for the fabulous St. Lucia Jazz. St. Lucia Jazz is now, I mean, it's 27 years we've been having this in St. Lucia. That is an ultimate getaway. So if you're not thinking that the carnival is for your next trip, maybe you want to do something more for the grown and sexy. Everybody who is anybody in the world of music and jazz has performed at the St. Lucia Jazz Festival. I'm talking Rochelle Farrell. I'm talking Erica Badu. I mean, I don't need to listen. Patti LaBelle, the late Luther Vandross. We are a quality festival that happens in May. It typically ends right before Mother's Day. So it's that first week of, um, of um, May, okay? So we can plan for that, all right? Great. All around, there are great private options. You can always customize something. And again, a lot of the hotels and places to stay have that option for you to be on your own in your own villa, have your own space to entertain, your own pool. And that is priceless, I think, in this day and age, right? Again, size doesn't always matter. Sometimes great things come in small packages. I didn't just say that and I'm not smiling. Behave, it's a professional webinar. Okay, so rendezvous, this is a fabulous option. Every week they do this with the champagne, the chocolate, the saxophone, and typically you're right on the beach listening to the waves, and it's really a great time. This is more of, this resort typically focuses on couples, but again, it works perfectly for a group who are that grown and sexy crowd. It's a, it's a more well-traveled, um, distinguished sort of clientele. So you're not going to have, I'm going to leave that right there. You know what I mean? inspired places to stay. Let's see some of the places that we can stay apart from Rendezvous that we just mentioned. All right. So some really good beaches. Sugar Beach we mentioned is a fabulous one. And this is again right between the Piton, the two iconic mountains, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And here we go. So here you have one Piton on this side and right where I'm sitting, well, on the other, right to the base of the screen is the other. And you have 96 pools, right? This is the main pool. But what that means is because you have 95 villas and suites, then everybody has their own pool. So again, very, very appropriate for folks that really want to have their own space, more important than ever. And by the way, these are my favorites. You're right by the, the beach. These are the walkout beach bungalows right here. And later on, I'm going to show you the residences, which have actually been featured. You know that guy Frederick on Million Dollar Listings? That's the um, New York real estate um, broker. Um, he's visited and he absolutely loves it. This is Sugar Beach, a Viceroy Resort. And let's take a closer look. So you have your own pool. It's very modern. 
clean lines and lots of outdoor indoor living villa style so guess what let me go back for a second you're wondering how you're going to navigate this resort there's a shuttle service don't worry very easy they pick you up in these little jitneys and take you wherever you want to go fabulous dining by the way and this is like the main the main building where you have a lot of your restaurants it is family friendly you will not see children running around but um, you certainly can take a child there if you would like um, but you typically don't see a lot of children I'm just saying remember family friendly um, but you do get your privacy as I mentioned um, the amenities are amazing you get your own iPad and Certainly, you could book your spa treatments and your restaurant reservations, and it really is a very sexy, modern, but still manages to be Caribbean chic all at the same time. And really fabulous dining, if I may say so myself. Great sushi, great continental dishes. Um, they have the beach bistro some really good dining here. This is perfect for a girlfriend's getaway. These are the residences and we're talking over 4,000 square feet, your own pool, you could do laps and certainly all girlfriends could be, at, it sleeps about eight. So you could certainly do this and this is fabulous. Um, a bit on the higher end as you would have um, expected, but remember one life to live Every trip is different and you only turn 50 once. Thank you. Please and thanks. Okay, let's move on to Ladera. Are you open? Are you open to nature? Are you open to an open concept where you might be having your drink and a fabulous hummingbird just comes by and entertains you? This is that adult luxurious tree house for adults only and it's for adults only because clearly this is the edge of the pool and there's a heck of a drop all the way down by the way to sugar beach it's a thousand feet up from sugar beach which is why you're seeing the piton sorry i don't mean to be teaching geography here we go you can see the piton here and this is one of those fabulous suites they all have their own pool by the way so again really convenient really private it's your own space and by the way the bedroom is all the way back there is no danger of any crazy um, invasions taking place, okay? Um, and you certainly do have your netting. You're up a thousand feet, so it's very, very cool. Um, constant trade winds. But remember, I am going to say this, and I mean it. Everything is never for everyone, but there is someone that would fall in love with this, and maybe even for three nights or four nights. Maybe not for the full stay, but there's some people that would enjoy that. Um, and sometimes your partner is, or friend is not that nature lover. So they want something a little bit more traditional. This is way out there. This is St. Lucia luxury at its best. And then there's a fabulous restaurant called Dashin, which gives you wicked, wicked views. I use wicked in a positive way. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> this, by the way, let's move on from there because this is across the road. As you can see, the um, peak is also in your view. It's right across the street from Ladera. So again, up on the cliff side. And um, you can certainly take for these two resorts, you can take their shuttle down to the um, beach, which is Sugar Beach, right? And you can certainly have a day out there. Um, but what you'll find here is that this has the ability to give you that open concept because the French doors, here they are, are retractable. So you could sleep with it like that if you'd like, or you could close it up and then you have your um, your privacy and um, you know if you're not that outdoorsy type but the chocolate hotel has a fabulous cacao inspired restaurant where it's gourmet and every single course has bits of the cacao by the way Lexington and I believe 17 has a hotel chocolat as in 
the chocolate hotel store that you could purchase chocolate from and they are made right here in St. Lucia and by the way even if you're not staying here you could enjoy the restaurant or you could also make your own chocolate bar from scratch that would be a nice activity to do all right let's move along so here we are Sugar Beach is over here on the beach level you have Ladera up here a thousand feet up from sea level and then over across the road from Ladera is Hotel Chocolat, the chocolate hotel. And all the way over here is a 600 acre reserve, which has a fabulous reef for diving. And this is Anne's Chasne, which cascades. It's cottages that cascade all the way down to the beach level. And it is fabulous. You see that that um, national fabric coming back again. This is how we pronounce it. Anse Chasne. It's French. There are only 49 of these um, villas. And again, you have that open concept. But there is the option with some of them, they do carry air conditioning. So if you're more that, um, if you're more keen on having air conditioning, then um, that would be there are options there for you as well. But this room actually won the best room in the world in 2005. So, I mean, it is iconic. It brings the outdoors indoors and it's really trying to celebrate the natural landscape. So again, not everything is for everyone, but that is perfect for someone on their honeymoon. But guess what? Let me go back. So this is Anne's Chasne cascading down the hillside but on top you see the section here this is the crown jewel of these two resorts it's called jade mountain i'll allow you to catch your little breath all 29 of their sanctuaries have this view and I will tell you that for this particular sanctuary, they're not called rooms, you have a 900 square foot infinity edge pool overlooking the Piton. Perfect for stargazing, but certainly a fabulous place to spend an iconic anniversary, any kind of celebration. It is five star luxury and amenities. So you have your French press, you have your espresso machine, it's butler service all the way, and you have your netting for your beds. You're not expecting to have um, um, crazy temperatures. You're at a very decent altitude, so it's very, very cool typically. But again, this is for that client that is open to that open concept. And the water being present in the um, sanctuary also does help with the cooling as well. And you do have some fabulous amenities. The dining is fabulous. There is a vegan restaurant and there are some excellent options on property as well. And remember, if you are staying at another hotel, you certainly could dine at the Jade Mountain. Um, one of their dining options, because that's how St. Lucia is. You stay at one place, you could dine at the Chocolate Hotel restaurant. You stay at another, you could dine at Ladera's Dasheen restaurant. So they're great options. And remember, it sits on, these two resorts sit on 600 acres. So there's lots of activities to do. Now, I will simply introduce you to the body holiday, which is in the north of the island. We've now gone up to the north. By the way, by the way, you could take your helicopter to Jade Mountain as a transfer, right? It'll be five minutes from the airport. Just, just sharing that with you. That's a, that's a really good option. But this is a resort that allows you to be as active as you like or not at all. And they really specialize in wellness. So if you are on the road to recovery, if you're all about body science and aging even more gracefully, even though we know, we have the ultimate gifts, trying to be very tactful. But this resort offers you a spa treatment included for every single day, full day that you are there with them. And by the way, if you're a solo traveler, they have lots of rooms that do not carry a single supplement, which means you're not paying for two people, even though it's just one person. But all inclusive, 
They have everything from yoga, their spiritual treatments. They have an acupuncturist in their spa, largest spa in the Caribbean, hands down. And so the body holiday, they say, give us your body for a week and we'll give you back your mind. They also have bodyguards who can really give you the workout of your life. Now that's not for all of us. And I will say, I unfortunately have not been exercising. So maybe I'm not the target audience, <laughs> but if you really want to try the body holiday offers you the opportunity on vacation to change one aspect. It challenges you to change just one aspect of your life. And eating well could be one of those. And by the way, you don't have to have green juice and oatmeal, um, fat-free cookies all day. It's available, it's available. But you can certainly have all the seafood, all the dessert that you would like. It is not a boot camp, but it can be if you'd like it to be, okay? And then I save this one for you. Moving on from the body holiday, we are in Rodney Bay, which is about 10 minutes down the road. And this is a place you would stay, whether it's with your family or your girlfriends, it's for that iconic birthday, or it's for the jazz festival. You know what I like about this property? The location is iconic. You are right in the heart of town, which means you are walking to all the shops for souvenirs, the pharmacy, the restaurants, the clubs, the I mean, it, it doesn't end. And then you have that fabulous water park as well. They do weddings as well. Um, but it is one of our properties proudly owned by St. Lucians and in the heart of the Rodney Bay Village. So location, location, location. The food is fabulous. And they also actually have a dine around program where if you're staying with them and you do that all inclusive with them, you can then go into town to the restaurants that are in the program and dine there and say, hey, I'm a Bay Gardens guest. Here's my little room key, etc., And then they offer you very, very special rates. Um, and that is just Fabulous. So that's Bay Gardens Beach Resort. And then another one, which is a wellness um, retreat where you get your own pool. Here you go, right down here. You're, each of them are set up in this way, private villas, and there are only 37 of them. Um, you get your all these outdoor living spaces. You have your chaise lounges around the corner where you could um, catch some vitamin D. They have this iconic outdoor shower sort of thing. And then the bedrooms are perfectly appointed. You have the louvers, but you have a plexiglass. So obviously there's air conditioning as well. And then for an all-inclusive option that's very modern, then you're looking at the Royalton. Eight dining options. They have activities for the young people, for the teenagers. And then you certainly do have a hideaway section, which is perfect if it is that you want to be with only adults and be away from the family section. So in other words, if you're staying at hideaway, you could head over to the family section and the family restaurants, but you could always retreat to your neck of the woods, which is its own world and is adult only. And very, very modern, contemporary. Some folks like that aesthetic and this would be for you. But if you prefer that casual Caribbean chic, then, and, and, and for folks that want to maybe travel a little bit more often, the St. James Club Morgan Bay is a really, really great option for you. They have fabulous water sports. My favorite is actually this, the banana boat ride. <laughs> That's what memories are made of, right? And um, the accommodations are very, very um, clean and um, very um, in tune with that Caribbean aesthetic. So if that works for you, this works very well. And they do have a kids program, a teen program as well. And so you literally could take your children there and or, or grandchildren or family friends, who knows, whoever is traveling and um, they would be doing programs that are suitable for their age group. Apart from that, 
I'll give you these three options, three vacations in one, Sandals, Regency Latoc, they have executive golf, or the Halcyon, which is a charming, intimate, and personal type of resort, or the Sandals Grand. Once you're staying at one of those, you could visit all the others. And look at this, this is Pigeon Island, which is in the north of the island. So you could literally go over there for some great history, heritage, because the British and the French, they fought over St. Lucia until they were blue in the face. They had, we were, French seven times and we were British seven times and this is a fabulous place that captures that history and heritage and um, you'll also find great eateries right there at Pigeon Island as well. So if you're staying at Sandals Grand, then certainly you're right next door to all of that action at Pigeon Island. And again, there are shuttles that run between the resorts. So it makes it very, very easy and convenient. And again, it's nice to have a change of scenery sometimes when you're staying at one resort. And again, with all the resorts I've shown you, you can mix and match. We call it a split stay. So you could stay some nights in the north let's say you arrive take the helicopter up to the north this is an over the water bungalow you're looking at by the way and um, and then certainly you could take a water taxi down to the south and then that would enable you to stay at some other resorts and that could certainly enrich your experience because sometimes it's difficult to choose which resort works for you for a particular trip. Every trip is different. Listen, if you're on spring break, that's one, that's one kind of trip. But if you're celebrating that 50th birthday, hello, you want something special special, you want something iconic, you want something unique, you want something like this, Cap Maison, which offers you great outdoor indoor living spaces on the, um, you could ha literally have a barbecue set up for you right on the top, or you could certainly dine in their cliff restaurant, which is iconic. They also have a wine cellar, which has some fabulous wines from all over the world. And I mean, listen, there is a time for every resort in St. Lucia. So please stay in touch, drop Lori and the team a line, never ever stop dreaming. We live only once, let's get you to St. Lucia. And remember, Lori is a St. Lucia expert, and she has the connections to us at the Tourism Authority, so she gets the very best updated information, which we can connect you with the right kind of driver for you. And if you're coming for Carnival, then I'm going to send you with this driver, because I know he's excellent at taking you around, right? And making sure that the trip is special for you. So that's our presentation. There's so much more, but I had to just give you a taste. So over to you, Lori. Richard, O-M-G. Hey. <laughs> I need to get me a bell, okay? All right. <laughs> I loved your presentation. I Thank loved you. the energy. Um, I loved the information. I mean, it was just fabulous. I mean, you gave us... Um, Everything we asked for, the history, the culture, the food, the fabulous locations. Um, oh, my goodness. Great. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I spoke to Rich and I told him I'm turning 50 next year. <laughs> and I'm looking next June 25th. Tomorrow's my birthday. So next year, June 25th, I, I'm looking for a location to celebrate my 50th. So, um, Richard, you've done a really good job of selling Thank St. You. Lucia. <laughs> Thank you. A really, Thank you. really good job. I'm like, do I go in May for the Jazz Festival? Do I go in June for my birthday? Do I go in July for a Carnival? I don't know. Maybe I have to go all three times. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you. So, um, hey, I want to get right into. I see there's some. We have about. We have oh a lot of questions in the Q and A. So um, I'm going to get to the Q and A, and then we'll we'll come back. So I'm going to turn this over to Donna right now, and Donna, um, let let's see what um fo folks are asking. Okay, Richard. First of all, I'm going to tell you, um, Lisa said you are her favorite presenter. She loves your vibe. And now St. Lucia is on your her list due to you. So you did an amazing, amazing job. 
right. So, <laughs> Thank you. Lori, Thanks, Lisa. When, when we stay at when we stay at eco-friendly hotels or mm -hmm. resorts, yes. So they all, I mean, I haven't planned the trip yet. I mean, Richard just sold me on it. Yes. <laughs> and yes. so I've always have wanted to go there, but I think mo most of the, most of the, the, I mean, Richard, most of the places are equal friend, um, eco friendly and things. Yes. Of that nature. So I think that goes without saying it. Yes. Yes. We actually have, um, a, a resort that was, um, it was crowned America's best eco friendly resort. It is called Fordu. It's F O N D. And then next word, D-O-U-X, fondue, fondue is the pronunciation. And they actually have a chocolate, um, a chocolate making studio as well. Many of our resorts actually do. Jade Mountain has one. Um, the Chocolate Hotel has one. Fordu has one. We have them all over the island. And they're each charming in their own right. But what I, what I also wanted to say, which I never said, and I know, and I know it's a little weird, but... When you come to St. Lucia, you are going to feel so comfortable because guess what? We know your family. We know, and it's going to come across in just how you're treated. A lot of our hotels are so small, so we know who you are. We know what your likes are, um, especially the bartenders. They know. Um, they can spot you a mile away, and um, they're going to treat you extra special. So, yeah. Jade Mountain, is it built into the side of the mountain? It absolutely is, but it kind of sits on top like a, like a crown on top of the other resort. And by the way, Jade Mountain is, is a separate property from Anne's Chastney. They're sisters, but if you're staying at Anne's, you are not allowed up there. It is very, very exclusive. And every sanctuary, there are only 29 of them, by the way. There are 29 of them, and every each of them has their own bridge. So it's like a runway. You are not allowed on that. If you're standing on somebody's bridge, you're in their room. And can I tell you who loved Jade Mountain to death? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was a full-paying customer, and he did social media for Jade Mountain like he was working mm. for them. You know, he had a really good time, and, and certainly you could see a lot of those images on his Instagram. And by the way, no, I have to add this, Ludacris, this is what I was saying earlier, Ludacris, the rapper uh, out of Atlanta, he, ju he just walked around Soufre. And he just went to different bars and he was just sitting on the roadside. Oprah Winfrey, she came in to Marigo Bay. And apart from her saying that the pitons is one of five things that you must experience before you die, before you expire. You have to aspire before you, you um, expire. Um, she mentioned that she didn't feel the pressure of having to say more than the occasional hello at times because St. Lucians really do give you your privacy. That resort, um, Sugar Beach, has a no drone policy. You can't fly a drone over it because they get a lot of celebrities. And so... We, we, we treat you very special when you're here. And, and there's a budget for everyone, okay? All right, so chocolate making chocolate spa, when and where? <laughs> all of the above. Um, there are quite a few chocolate tours and it all depends on whether you want to walk the cocoa groves yourself, pick your beans. If that's the tour you want to do, you'll want to do it with a chocolate hotel. And, um, that is Bucan, B-O-U-C-A-N, the chocolate hotel. They offer that tour. It's called Bean to Bar. And mm -hmm. um, you can do it even if you're staying in the north of the island. Um, you can take a catamaran down and you head over to the chocolate hotel and do it. But there are other spots that you can do it um, closer to your hotel in the north if you'd like. Uh, and you can also do it at Fordu. So I'll provide you a listing. And by the way, most of our hotel spas offer you that signature treatment um, using a lot of local products, including the chocolate. Okay. 
guys, I know we're getting close to two o'clock, but if you have to go, I just want to say real quick that this presentation will be up on our YouTube channel by Friday. So if some of you have to skip out, go ahead and post your questions. Well, I'll ask Richard, but this video will be uploaded by Friday. All right, so Richard, tell us about the Jazz Festival. Will the Jazz Festival be planned for May 21? Um, yes, absolutely. We actually had it had it on for this year. It was um, featuring um, Patti LaBelle was launching a jazz album and she was one of the featured performers. But we'll give you more information on that and you certainly can do um, packages through Lori as well. We'll make sure that Lori has the details on all our events and celebrations coming up for 2021. The only one we have left for this year which is still somewhat pending the outcome of everything is our um, Creole festival, which is in October. But we have a little bit of time to, to, um, to um, plan for that. I'm also jumping to some of the other questions. We do speak English in St. Lucia, but okay. there is a French based Creole as well. Um, so yeah, folks can speak French if you do speak French. And as a matter of fact, for example, the Haitians, um, we totally, totally understand them same same french based creole that we speak yeah okay what about the uh, the jazz festival are the seats assigned and what's the ticket price it depends it depends you do you can do um one of the intimate venues we've more gone to that format now where we have some very intimate venues you can purchase according to where you'd like to sit but you could also have a season pass you know but typically the venues we do it in collaboration with jazz at lincoln center i don't know how i forgot to mention that but for the past two years we've been working with them jazz at lincoln center of new york fame by the way so um the events have gotten a lot more intimate over the years so you can certainly get um the desired seating that you would like. Um, the prices, um, not very expensive. I mean, $50 um, US um, was like an average price this year. So we'll keep you informed on that. Okay. Are there historic sites, outdoor, indoor, muse indoor museums on the island? We have a few um, heritage um, inspired museums, not very um, expansive, but certainly um, we can arrange those for you. Typically we'll do those through um, a number of our um, destination management companies. Um, right in the north of the island is where you'll find those in the Castries area, as I had shared earlier. Okay, what are St. Lucia's best natural landmarks? Which tour is about two to three hours? The natural landmark of note is the Pitons, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, and then Pigeon Island, which I shared with you earlier in the north of the island. So whether you're at the Royalton, Sandals Grand, Cap Maison, Body Holiday, you're right near. You could literally walk if you would like. And then um, the other question was? Um, Say. Length of a stay in yeah, San Yeah, like it's a, which, which By, tours are two to three hours? Oh, I'm so sorry. So you could do a rainforest tram throughout the rainforest, or you could do a zipline tour. Um, there are Segway tours, horseback riding is typically two hours. But what I would say to you, if you're staying in the north of the island, you do want to go and see these beauties behind me. And the best way to do that is either on a speedboat, like the Joe Nose Tour, or you could do a catamaran, and that would take you down to Soufre, you do the mud bath, you do the waterfall, you get a local lunch, you snorkel at the base of the Piton, and then you party all the way back to the north. To me, that's a day well spent. And if you're not saying at an, even if you were at an all-inclusive, would you, would you consider that wasting your money? I don't think so. Um, you are experiencing the island. And when you're done with that tour, that could just be one day. And you really would have gotten a fabulous introduction. You'd have taken 10 years off. Um, and um, it's very therapeutic as well. But we do have a whole series 
of catamaran experiences, but they're typically between five to six hours, okay? Just as an average. But, but you would have experienced so many things in one. Okay, what is the signature or natural dish? It's green bananas, which are boiled, and that's served with sawfish. So um, salted cod, sauteed in spices, garlic, onions, peppers, and that sort of thing. So it's called green fig and saltfish. And you will try that when you get here. It will be available widely across the island. Lisa says, how did you maintain your <laughs> fabulousness? She said she didn't see any of your pictures, um, but your words painted the most beautiful pictures. And she said, Richard for president. Thank you. <laughs> We're solving the world's problems on this webinar. Thank you, Lori. Lisa, you, Lisa, behave. <laughs> Thank you. I have to meet you when you come. <laughs> what is the best place to stay, the north or the south side of the island? It, it all depends on what you like. I think a good mix is, is, um, is ideal if it is that you have. If you're an adventure person and you want to be gone every day, to have a change of scenery, botanical gardens, waterfalls, the mud baths. You could do all of those if you, let's say you were staying at Sugar Beach, Ladera, or um, the Chocolate Hotel. You could be gone every day and get back by lunchtime because of the close proximity. All of those tours are right within the Soufre area. So that is that that would be a good spot if you're an adventure person. But if you want to turn up like Lori for her 50th, you want to be in the north because that's where the street party is, Friday night jump up, etc. So it's all about what you need, okay? But what I would always recommend, do a few nights in the north, transfer by water taxi so you don't have to drive the same way or take the helicopter, and then get to your second resort in the south. You're closer to the airport at that point, and then you end on a high. Lisa, thank you very much, by the way. I'm a very proud Caribbean man, and this is not work, even though it is. It takes effort, but I absolutely am proud of where I'm from. I've lived in the Caribbean my entire life. So it's who we are, and more than ever, we've seen all the news, which is why she said Richard for president, but we have to be proud of who we are, and this is part of who we are, and I love sharing St. Lucia with the world. What's the currency that you use in St. Lucia? We use the Eastern Caribbean dollar, but US dollars are widely accepted. Everybody knows the exchange rate. It's $2.60 EC to every US dollar. And by the way, what I love about the street party is the cost of the, the drinks do not change because you're a tourist. Because they hear an accent, they're not gonna adjust their prices. So you will buy a bear for five EC or you'll buy a cocktail for five US, right? So very, very, very easy there. You could spend US dollars there if you'd like. Bouillon, Brenda is asking. Yep. Bouillon is so very, very um, popular in Louisiana. It's like that stew that becomes almost a very hearty soup. And we put very exotic things in there like salted, pig's tail and um, all sorts of fish, depending on the one that we're making. You could make a lamb bouillon, you could make a pig tail bouillon. Um, it's, it's, it's a form of soup, but very, very hearty with ground provisions, the sweet potatoes, da da da, very nicely seasoned. I mean, hey, we season our food. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> No behavior, Laurie will never invite me back. <laughs> hey, Richard, what does the mud bath tour include? And does the tour include non-mud pools? Well, yes. So the mud bath is um, basically the island was created by a volcano and it is dormant. It exploded many moons ago in the 1800s. And, and therefore it's not active because I wouldn't enjoy visiting a place where there was an active volcano, but, but that's just me. And what you'll find is the um, coming from the Earth's core is this sulfuric um, water and mud 
And what you do is they extract it for you and then they bring it out in buckets and you're able to apply it to your skin and all that. It's great for eczema, great for um, all sorts of muscle ailments, it is alleged. And um, you, can, you can be in the baths, which are quite warm, by the way. Now, for the folks that don't want to do that, um, they can... They, if you're more like into inspecting the volcano, it's a drive through volcano. You literally can do a tour of the volcano. Um, so that's for one set of people. And the other set of folks can certainly just go around and take the photographs and all that. Typically, when you do a mud bath tour, though, we pair it with a waterfall activity because you're not in the mud bath forever. It's just one stop primarily in a series of other stops. So I would suggest that you always look to make it part of a combination tour. So again, you could have gone to the chocolate factory. Did I say chocolate factory? Chocolate hotel. Make your own chocolate bar. Then you head down to the botanical gardens. Or maybe you guys could split up because some of you like nature. Some of you would love to go to the botanical garden, but that's not for everyone, right? And you could split up and then you meet again at the mud bath. And then we go for a local lunch or we go to zip line. All of those things are right there in one area. So it's very, very easy for us to put together a custom itinerary, depending on what you'd like to do. Because we're not all the same. So we should never expect that we're going to vacation the same. Right? Well, Richard, you got me with the chocolate because I'm a chocolateaholic. So, yeah, chocolate has Good. to be... A part of my trip. But yes. um, let's talk about tours into the rainforest. Uh huh. Are there tours there? There's some serious tours. And let me tell you, the Pitons, the mountains that, that I showed you earlier, they're right behind me. You can hike those. But again, challenging. I'm just being upfront with you. It's a challenge to climb them. You see what they look like? But guess what? More than just a challenging climb, they also offer you a unique opportunity to, to go in with a guide who is from the area, from one of the communities. And so it's community-based, which I love. We're big on village tourism mm -hmm. here. And also you learn a, a few of the nuances of how they live. But if you're not able to hike, because let's say you have a, an ailment, then there are other options, such as a Ted Paul Nature Trail, which is a one hour. Um, it's, a, it's a decent walk. It's like, I wouldn't even say it's a power walk. It's a leisurely stroll through a fabulous garden. You get to see an original St. Lucian home and you learn how to make the cassava cakes, etc. And then you get to some spots vistas where you can literally photograph the pitons and look down at sugar beach so that works but also for the folks that are birders there is the millet bird sanctuary there are a number of um, forest reserves so for folks that want to spot the national bird the parrot we know exactly where they are and um, it's just all about what you're interested in. Maybe you want to do a waterfall discovery or you want to do biking through the rainforest or maybe you just want a zip line, fly through it. All of those options are available. So there's really no limit. It's just what the particular individual is interested in. Hey Richard, before I give this to Lori, my question is, are there cooking classes there? Oh, yes, absolutely. Learn to cook like a Lucian is one option. The chocolate making is the other. And there, there, there are a few others as well. But um, cooking like a Lucian is sort of like a top chef experience. And you leave with the recipes. And, and we, we certainly do our part as well in sharing our local recipes through the tourism authority. So lots of options. Okay, Lori, I'm going to leave this last question for you and let you take it over. Approximately how long of a stay are you considering? <laughs> I think we need two, three weeks, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. I think we need, you know, mid-June to mid-July. I don't know. I'm, or from, from the jazz festival to, to, <laughs> to carnival. I, I don't know. I think we just all just need to all need to come in together and just rent out one of those all 29 sanctuaries or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, two, three weeks would be ideal. Um, I like, I mean, I, it, um, 
realistically speaking, probably about a week. I like the split stay that Richard uh, mentioned. Um, you could start at the north and do some of the things there and maybe have, you know, relaxing, ultra luxurious um, um, piece of it. And then you can go to the south and see other things. So I like the, the, split, the split stay. And I think in order to do that, you probably need a good week um, to, to do all of that. At the so, very yeah. least, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, hey, before we go, thank you all for hanging in. We lost a few people, but I have one last poll um, for you guys. Now that Richard has given us some education, has schooled us on St. Lucia, um, want to ask, you know, who wants to go to St. Lucia now? And when? When do you think you like like to go? So... Um, I'll give you about 30 seconds or so to take this poll. Let me know if you can, yep, yeah, I can see some of you guys are seeing it. Okay, it's everybody seeing it because I did have somebody said they didn't see the poll earlier. So can you comment that you are definitely seeing this poll for us? So, uh, so I see people are taking it. I, I got, uh, I got about, oh, I got about six. Oh, oh, okay. Now I, I see more, more things are coming through. So I'll give it about 10 more seconds before we close the poll. We have 20 folks online, so they want to go. But you guys never help me figure out when, because it's all over the place. So I'll give it 10 more seconds, which will be up for a minute, and then I'll share the results so far. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to end the polling, and then I will share the results. So we have 22 people who said they want to come. And the winner is July through September. So April gets seven, April to June gets seven, July through September gets eight. And then we have October gets five and then tw next year. Yeah, so it looks like somewhere between the spring and the summer is what, what we're looking at. One question we didn't talk about, Richard. Um, when, it, when is a good time to come? Is it an all, round, all year round destination? We're tropical year round um, for the first part of the year, which is the winter. So um, January through um, June, you can expect that there is far less rain than later on in the year. And um, I mean, we're a very tropical island. So if you're staying, let's say, in the rainforest, then typically there's a little bit more convectional rain. So every day at about 2 o'clock until like 2.30, there's a little bit of, ooh. And that's, that's how mm -hmm. it keeps nice and green. But apart from that, it is warm and tropical year round. OK. So even in the rainy season, it's, it's it's still a good time to come in the in Yeah, because we don't call it okay. the rainy season because it's not like it's raining morning to night. Um, you can just expect a bit more rain than during the first part of the year. That's kind of when okay. we get or, or little showers. You, you won't have consecutive days of rain. You won't. Okay. All right, great. I guess you need the rain to keep it looking so lush and beautiful. All right, guys, we have gone over time, but this was so interesting and so wonderful. Um, I just want to thank you. Thank you, Richard, for the fabulous presentation. Um, I think I'd love to have you come back when we act, when I actually plan the trip to St. Lucia and we can <laughs> talk about, about that, but I'll definitely be speaking with you, um, you know, in the planning process and I'll keep you guys updated on, on when we're going to St. Lucia. So right now it looks like it's sometime in the spring and summer based on, on, on the feedback. Uh, thank you, Donna, for being our moderator. Um, appreciate you keeping us on track and everything. Um, Thank you all for just participating, for ask, asking questions. Um, I, 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 love, I love your energy. I feed off of it. Um, as Donna mentioned, this uh, webinar is being recorded, and it will be up on our Overton Travel YouTube channel. Um, I'll send a link out to the YouTube channel um, with the follow-up email tomorrow. And please subscribe, and then you'll get updates um, when, when, when the um, webinars are posted, tell your friends to join the webinars um, as well. Continue showing up each week. Um, next week, oh my Lord, we're doing something totally different. So we're in St. Lucia to, today. Next week, we're going to Iceland. <laughs> so next week, uh, our, our, our Wanderlust
Wednesday's Wednesday presentation is, 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 is on Iceland. So join us next week. Thank you, everyone. Have a super fabulous day. And um, see you next week. Thank you, Richard. Bye, okay. guys. Bye-bye.